Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're going to be carrying on with our English, expressing preference for a character. Our learning intention today is going to remain the same. Understand how language is used to represent characters. We're just going to be diving in a little deeper. And how we're going to be doing that brings us to our success criteria. We're going to create a character profile for Cinderella. If you'd like to take the time now, you can stop and review the Cinderella ebook with your learning buddy before we continue. So, once you've done that, the things you will need is your Cinderella fairy tale ebook that we had yesterday and that you may have just read through. You'll need some pens, some pencils, and a bit of paper so you can create your Cinderella character profile. You can also see up behind me here that I've put our year two learning wall up on the wall, so you might like to follow along at home. And if you have some blue tack, you can start sticking up the things that you create, which will help you throughout this unit. So, when we're looking at characters, we need to remember that the author uses a combination of words and images to give us a good idea about the character in a story. The author starts giving us clues straight away in this story, stating that once upon a time there was a beautiful young lady called Cinderella. She was always good and kind. Later on, her actions are also described. For example, Cinderella had to work harder than ever to get the sisters ready. By describing her actions and thoughts in the story, this helps us to infer what she is like. When we infer, we think in our head to combine what the text says with what we already know to draw a conclusion. So now we're going to get on with creating our character profile. So, our character profile is created by using our marker to rule a nice box shape. In each box, we're going to put one of our headings. Appearance, actions, thoughts, and questions. We're then going to be searching the story to find some of our describing words that fit into each one of our boxes. For example, when I look at appearance, I remember that they said Cinderella was beautiful. So I write beautiful in our appearance box. When we're looking at her actions, I remember back to the story and she worked harder than ever to get the sisters ready for the ball. So I can say her actions are she is hard working. When I'm looking at her qualities, I'm thinking back to the start of the story and straight away they told me that she was kind. And which brings us to the most difficult one to figure out which is our thoughts. Because remember, that's not usually directly stated in the text. But she is hard working and she's kind. So that leads me to think that she's got a positive outlook. So she's positive or she's hopeful. So those are just a few ideas that we can start to fill in our character profile. I've done an example or a couple of examples in each box and I would like you to take some time now and see if you can come up with two to three more for each box. Once you've taken the time to do that on your learning wall, we can get our bit of blue tack and we can stick up our Cinderella character profile. This is going to help us visualize the character as we move further into this unit. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll speak with you again tomorrow.